In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome wall jump effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So in order to do this effect, you first of all just want to make sure that you put your camera onto a tripod. And then once you've done that, you just want to film the empty space for around five to 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and you need your clean plate just in case you need to do any masking or you need to remove anything from the frame. So if you have your clean plate, which is your empty background, then it means you can make any fixes if you need to. Then once you've got that, you just want to run ahead and do the action. So as you can see, this is me just jumping at one spot on the wall. Then once you've got that, you can clear the frame for a second. Make sure you're not casting any shadows. Figure out what items are going to come off you. So in this example, it's a coat and some shoes. And you just want to throw those at the spot where you did the jump. So if you jumped halfway up the wall, you want to make sure you throw them at that same point. Then you just let them drop on the floor and you just let them set. Hold that shot for a few seconds. And then you just want to get your shot where you're coming out of the door or walking around from the corner to finish this all off. So essentially, once you've got all of these different elements, we are just going to do some clever masking and cuts to join them all together. So let's begin with that process. So I'm just going to start with the beginning. So this is me just walking up to the wall. And then at this moment in time, when I hit the wall, so here, this is where I'm going to do the cut. So I'm just going to press C on this on the keyboard to load the razor tool. Then I'm going to move over to the point where the coat and the shoes hit the wall. So here we'll make a cut there and then we'll move those two clips together. So as of right now, you should end up with something like this, which looks pretty good already. And then from there, you will just wait till those have settled, make another cut. Then we'll scroll through to the point when I'm inside the door. So here, then we'll just delete that middle part and move that video over. And when we play this back, that looks really good. Now, if you feel like there was a little bit of a change in light in this moment here, then you could just drag the top clip back over and you could just add a little bit of a subtle crossfade just to join these two clips together. Because there's no movement here, we can't hide the cut as easily. So if you add a little bit of a crossfade when they settle, that's really going to help to merge these two clips together. You don't need a crossfade here because that action is helping the cut. But because there's no action here, you need that crossfade just to merge those two together. But once you've done that, essentially, you've just created the effect. Now, before I carry on with the video, I'm first just going to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. And in particular, I'd like to talk about the Premiere Pro course. It's a three and a half hour course, and it teaches you everything you need to know about Premiere. So this covers import, organization, creating titles, green screen, multicam, and so much more. So if you're interested in watching the Brooker Films Premiere Pro course, then click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. So as you can see, that was really quick and really simple to do. Now, if you wanted to, you could highlight all of these footage layers, highlight all of these clips or we'll right click and select nest. And you can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it as the nested sequence. So one, and then you could either add a digital zoom in by animating the position and the scale over time. So if you just set your scale and position to 100 and this option here at the beginning, then you scroll through to the end and you increase the scale and the position again, you can see you're just going to have this nice subtle push in. So that basic camera movement really helps to hide that cut. Of course, though, if you didn't want to zoom in and you wanted this to feel more handheld, then we can just delete what we've just created. And then we're just going to increase the scale to 105. Correct branded keyframe on the position. We'll go roughly half a second over, move the position up and to the right. Then we'll move another second over. We'll go down and left. Then we'll go another second or half second over. We'll make another small adjustment. And if we play this back, you'll notice there's some nice subtle camera movements. Of course, if that's too quick, then just make those keyframes, the gaps in between those keyframes even longer. Then we'll just highlight all of those keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, and select ease in. And that's just going to make that all feel a little bit more natural. So now you can just copy all of those keyframes. So highlight them all, Command and C on Mac or Control and C on Windows then Control and V or Command and V to paste that in. So we'll just copy and paste those keyframes in so that we've got that nice movement throughout. 
And as you can see, this is what we end up with. So it looks like somebody's holding the camera and they're just moving the camera a little bit. Of course, if anything doesn't feel natural, then go in to those keyframes and make an adjustment. But that is the effect essentially now complete. Now, if you really wanted to make this seamless, then you could go back into this transition here. We'll drag the first video up and we'll just move it to the right over two frames. So we'll just extend that over and we'll just cut there. Then at this point, you can just create a new mask around this person. So we'll go through your Bezier tool and we'll just draw a mask around them like this. Now, make sure you do yours a little bit more cleaner than I'm doing here because this looks very rushed and very ugly. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a hover, but if you do that mask, if you create that mask and then create a new keyframe on position, scale and mask path, if you then move over, let's go one keyframe, we'll move the position to the left, we'll shrink the scale a little bit. As you can see, this is the importance of cleaning up that mask because we can see the door, that's not going to look too great. And then just by shrinking that down, that's just helping that transition from myself to the coat and the shoes. If you wanted to, you could shrink that down even further on the next frame across. So we'll shrink that down to here. And then we'll just delete the keyframe there. So let's see how that looks. There we go, instantly so much better. Of course though, that is not actually required. You don't need to do that. If you just get rid of that, you can see the transition works really nicely with a hard cut. But if you did want to just transition in a little bit more, then you can do that. And then of course you can just push this over to the left just a little bit so that there's an even quicker transition between these two clips. And that is how this looks. So if we go back to our main sequence and we play this back from the very beginning, you notice we've got this really awesome effect now created inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So all we've done here is basically just cut multiple clips together and because the camera was on a tripod, there was no lighting changes. We haven't had to do any dramatic masking or removing of anything. And this means we haven't needed our clean plate. Of course, though, if I was casting a shadow on this wall over here when I was throwing the coat and the shoes, then I would need to use that clean plate to just mask around that shadow to remove that effect. But in this example, I was very careful and therefore didn't have to use it. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.